Okay, guys, so here is the whole story behind me visiting Mama Coco. And it went like this. When we first got there, I didn't understand why all this stuff around here was up. Like there was like a whole uh, gated um, fence. And this is the granddaughter. This is the granddaughter that was very rude. Yes, she was. And I don't even have recorded parts of when she was talking to me before I started recording her. She was rude from the beginning till the very end until I give her the money. Then she kind of changed her uh, ways. Here it is me trying to give Mama Coco, as you guys can tell, the money. And I couldn't get near her because she wasn't. Al we weren't allowed to get near her, which is I understand why. But as you can tell, she hands the envelope and she doesn't hand it over to her. I wanted Mama Coco to open the envelope and see what was in there to see her look. And I, it wasn't um, I wasn't able to do that because the granddaughter snatched the money away from her. Now, for all of you saying that she was doing it just to uh, protect, I kind of was giving her the benefit of the doubt that she was actually frustrated or annoyed with so much people visiting her that day. So I wasn't, you know, taking it to the heart that she was treating me really bad because she was, okay? She was rude. She was, uh, I, like I said, I didn't record a half of whatever she told me without me being recorded. If you guys would have heard, you guys would have probably walked out. I didn't. I wanted to see Mama Coco. I didn't let that bother me. I continued. She said no videos. And I said, I have to record because I have to show my followers of the ones that donated that the money was given to her in her hand, which here she does. But as you can tell, again, she takes the money away from her. And that money is never held by Mama Coco. She is adorable. It is sad, guys. She's 107 and she's sitting there having to deal with customers all, I mean, customers, uh, with, uh, tourists all day because the family, you know, depends on her to do that to, uh, to make money. It's sad. When I heard about this, I never understood why, uh, some of the locals were talking about the fact that the family does this for the money. Um, I think it's sad that Mama Coco was being used by the family and by Disney. And now she sits there all day, 107, uh, dealing with all the tourists that come and visit her. Sad.